greeting globals. I am Macabre, bravely Macabre. Thank you for that kind introduction. I missed you too. Welcome to the 2017 Anime North Masquerade. We do have a very nice selection of costumes for you. And it is a masquerade and there are awards to be given. So I'd like to uh, introduce a few of our judges. Not coming on stage just yet because they are still working. Our workmanship judges. These are the folks that don't actually get to see the show. They're backstage looking at all the little fiddly bits that you can't see from stage. We have Aaron Ems, Jackie Ward, who locked me in a bathroom in New Orleans once. <laughs> Morale Agnarian, Jen Jacob, Jesse Frenette, Brian McKissick, Kelsey Bunton, and Ryan Dicey. They've already been working for many, many hours, working real hard. And now I'd like to introduce you our stage judges. The stage judges look at everything. Remember here at Anime North, the skit competition was last night. This is the costume competition. Your presentation is important, but the costume always comes first. That's why they're stage, stage judges. Our first judge, Ms. Jamila Sisko. Jamila is an award-winning costumer from Massachusetts who has been cosplaying for over 15 years. Her specialty is the type of costume that makes people wonder, how is that thing moving? And we will also be pimping a little bit for her because she is running programming and panels at CostumeCon 37 in Danvers, Massachusetts. And encourages all costumers and cosplayers to come out and play. It's a short drive for most of Canada to get to Massachusetts, guys. And if you've never heard of Danvers, Massachusetts, it's really Salem, Massachusetts. So drag out all those hocus pocus cosplays and get yourself there. <laughs> Next, we have Mr. Jesse Loggers. Jesse Loggers is a prop and costume creator from Portland, Oregon, all the way here for us. One of our cosplay guests of honor. He's been focused on making things his entire life, but has been professionally making props and costumes for six years. <laughs> Perhaps you've seen his work on Heroes of Cosplay and NBC's Grimm. You're welcome to come out and hang out and watch him craft via his Twitch channel and ask questions that you need help with. Our third judge is local favorite, Vicky Bunny Angel. <laughs> Vicky Bunny has been a long-term member and role model in the Canadian cosplay community for over a decade now and receives international acclaim for her work. Vicky strives to inspire others to love cosplay as much as she does with her cosplay builds, whether it's armor, sewn couture, or fancy wig work. She's worked with companies like Riot Games, Art of Wigs, and Cosplay Supplies. Check out her work on Facebook or Instagram. Next, we have Miss Chloe Perigo. Chloe has been dressing up in costumes since she was old enough to know what a Ninja Turtle was. She's just still not really sure what a sewing machine is. But once she made a light up wig that weighed more than her, <laughs> Chloe is an international level master. Okay, we're gonna pause for a moment. She's not sure what a sewing machine is. <laughs> Chloe is an international level master customer with her win for best interpretation being certified Hamel Trash. In her real life, Chloe creates digital and social media content for film and television in Canada and around the world. Has been found in more than her fair share of masquerade green rooms. And next, we have another West Coast American traveling far to be with us, Kara Sue Wen. Kara Sue has been creating props and sewing costumes since elementary school and has been cosplaying since before the word cosplay was coined. She is a master level costumer with a string of awards for many conventions over the years, including Costume Con Best in Show, World Con Best in Class, and Anime Expo Craftsmanship Awards. But her favorite award has been the Spazzy for a Costume Con humor entry awarded by the Sick Pups, the New Jersey Costumers Guild. She's been workmanship judge at Anime Los Angeles Masquerade annually since it began and spent five years as a volunteer moderator on cosplay.com.
And our last judge really needs no introduction to all of you, but I've been waiting a long time to do this, so. Our next judge is our cosplay department chair from the executive board here at Anime North. She is formerly known as the Uncatchable Pokemon because this is the first Anime North where I can introduce you all to my wife, Don McKechnie. He then appointed Caraveros as the book's protector. In the present day, a girl called Sakura accidentally opened the cloud and unleashed the cards. Now, Sakura, aided by Caraveros and a mysterious boy called Lee, must find the cards before the spirits inside them lay waste to the world. I am Caraveros, guardian beast of the seal of the cloud book. You're a guardian beast? Yeah, you got it, sister. You can call me Kiro. I keep the cloud cards from getting into trouble, see? <laughs>
number four, presented by Joshua Santos Ayan, Zygarde in 100% four. And that's the final of our young fan division. So we're going to take take just a moment. The judges are going to deliberate and come up with the awards right now so we can uh, make sure nobody else has a case of the terrible tooth this evening. We know that bedtimes are a thing. As I said, I really am glad to be back. I did miss you very much last year and I miss you especially, Holly. Aww. But I, you know, I care about this convention so much. I was working very hard while I was gone. Um, I did go, we're from Pittsburgh. I did uh, go to University of Pitt and did some studying, took some classes. Um, I can now mispronounce all these words, not only in Japanese, but in, in Korean. Uh, I can mispronounce those as well now. Uh, in Chinese, and just a little bit of Cambodian. So, I have, I've studied four different languages, I have no idea what I mean. What? I, I don't know, I only speak Trixies. <laughs> We're good, somebody's bringing them up. So, how have you been? <laughs> Before we get started with the adult divisions, I want to go over the division system with you a little bit. The division system is just a skill division. It is not meant to have anybody be a, a hierarchy of any kind. Um, it really was started back in the early 80s by folks who wanted to make sure that less experienced customers didn't have to compete against the more experienced customers. Um, Help them while they're young. <laughs> uh, they thought it would be clever to give them the uh, tradesman type names of novice, journeyman, master, and all like that, but it was never really anticipated to be a, oh, I'm a master, I'm better than you, or anything like that, not at all. It's more like a, a bowling or a golfing handicap, you know? If you need a break for a couple of years, you know, you only compete against people that have been doing it as long as you have. So and that's how we'll be doing things this evening in the adult divisions. We have novice, we have journeyman, we also have artisan and master. And apparently, the young fans were very tough to vision. Oh, here we go. <laughs> All right, we have a review of an uh, award for the most poke amazing. <laughs> Entry number one, Squirtle. Entry number two, card captor Sakura. Entry number four, Zygarde, 100% four. 